What's up everybody? Well, from the title and the length of this one, you can see we probably had a rough go at it. And it definitely wasn't from a lack of trying. Um, Dan and I met up with Todd Hiltz and Dave Wise again for a hunt to check out four potential sites that Dan had researched. And there was a lot of bushwhacking involved, obviously, <laughs> the name of the uh, vid. So, um, first site we bushwhacked into actually produced everything we got, and I'm very happy with what I got. Um, after that, it kind of looks like something out of a Vietnam documentary. We really did do some bushwhacking, and it shows the work that goes into finding these cellar holes and getting your finds if you want them. Um, we did find one huge farm site, but we never found the cellar hole. Um, there's probably a quick clip of it in there, but I didn't dwell on anything, so it's going to be a short one, but I did find a few cool things, so let's see what I got. Top of the day is a little cabin site up the top of the hill there, and this is my second target. I just flipped out. Looks like I got myself a little brass piece of a buckle, which is nice. I just got a uh, little bit of buckle as well. Yeah, I'm just dropping it. Yeah. Doesn't sound like uh, not a bad way to get started. We've been here maybe uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Took a while to find it though. But uh, I'd also got myself a really nice knee buckle, so this might be a nice little sight. All right, it's been about I don't know, three or four minutes since I just dug that uh, buckle piece, and there is. Buckle piece number three. It doesn't match anything I've dug so far. Interesting. Yeah, that's, like I said, that's the uh, cabin site up there, and Todd got a uh, nice new buckle right in the middle of it. Well, who knows? He'd be the buckle man. Just in case you thought metal detecting was easy. Sometimes you gotta bushwhack. Moving from that first site where everybody got buckles. And then find the second site with the pens. Uh, if you can't find a road, I guess you make a road. We're going to walk along this slippery friggin' wall here. Try to continue with the adventures of bushwhacking. You know, we've been doing a lot of bushwhacking and we're finding spots, we're not finding the holes. So now we're going to bushway our way back. The magical rotted bridge of doom. Well, we got to this big 
field and pen area and there's all the signs that this was a big huge farm but I wound up walking around for 45 minutes and didn't find the house. So I'm gonna pass on this and water to site number three. Obviously this will be something they can come back to another day. Well, Sometimes you do a lot of walking for little finds. Told you so. Something out of a Vietnam documentary and some cool finds at the beginning. I'll take those little buckle pieces all day long. Um, they just have those unique patterns on them. It's just a personal item. I like digging them as much as I like digging buttons I'm finding. Um, so after a lot of that bushwhacking, we finally called it quits around, I don't know, 4.30, maybe 5 o'clock. And considering we got in the woods at 7 a.m., that was a lot of hiking that day. Out of all those hours spent bushwhacking, we probably spent maybe three with the detectors on, if, if that. Um, Todd and Dave had a long ride, so um, Dan and I said, what the heck, we don't have as far to drive. We're going to go hit one more hole, which was a stop that uh, he's hit uh, many times before, but never know what you can get. I got a couple little something-somethings. Uh, I got eaten alive by mosquitoes and this little bit I found. So, don't know what I'm doing this week, as usual. Thanks for watching, and we'll see ya. And this little shape here was the original cabin and the fireplace. There's the doorstep, and here's the addition that they put on. And over in there, I see something. So we'll take a little wander over there, see if it's a geocache. And it is. I'm gonna reach in there with all the spiders. I got a lady shoe. And if I can get the buttered leaf thing open. There's the notepad. And what do we got? Garbage. Some peanuts. <laughs> Mosquitoes eating me alive. And some crap. See how far back this one goes. 2008. Jeez. Uh, July 20, 2012, 2012, that's it, this one's been pretty much full, so, put it all back, geocache, that was a pretty lousy one. <laughs>